Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, it is all about print-on-demand designing using Canva. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this design right here. This is a silhouette of a skateboarder in front of a uh, vintage style grunge sunset. This is all made using tools on Canva. So if you're interested in learning how to create this effect, please stick around. Okay, so starting with your blank background, 4,500 by 5,400, we are gonna go ahead and start making some circles. So all you have to do is hit C on your keyboard and a circle will pop up just like that. Now we're just gonna save a bunch of circles in different colors. So you have to kind of decide what color you wanna go with. But I'm gonna come right up here and let's say I wanna go in the blue tone. So I'm gonna go with something blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick a blue that I like, maybe right here. And now what you can do is you can pick tones. So I can do something like this where every circle I save is gonna have a different shade of blue like that. Or I can do it more like this where every circle just kind of comes one up and gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So you can decide kind of how you want to work with your shades. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, maybe a little lighter there. Maybe I'm gonna go from this kind of purplish range through to this sort of tealish green range. So I think that's the way that I wanna go. So I'm gonna start with whatever color I'd like to start with. So I'm gonna start in this little purpley range. And all I'm gonna do is save this circle. So I'm gonna come up here and I don't even necessarily need to title it because I am just gonna download it. Transparent background, download, takes a second. And then I'm going to take this circle and I'm going to just upload it. So drop it in my uploads and then I can start again. So now I'm gonna save my next circle. I'm gonna come right up to colors. And just like I showed you, I'm just gonna move this slightly to the left so I have a different shade. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna download transparent background and then I'll save this one too. And so you can make as many layers that you want for the sunset. So if you want three, four, five, however many, you just have to create that many circles. So back to uploads, I'm gonna upload this next circle. I got another color and repeat the process. So again, I'm gonna slide this down. I got more of a teal color now. Good, download again, transparent background. And oops, clicking on the wrong thing. Upload this one. Looks good so far. Maybe I'll make two more just so I've got several layers here. So change the color two more times. Slide down into even more of a teal. Download this one. And then I'll do one more that's more in the green tone. So now I have five different color circles um, in different shades of kind of a blue green. So I'm gonna take my original circle and I can just whoop, <laughs> slide it right off the page. So now I'm just going to bring in these circles and we're gonna layer them. So take my original circle and so that they're all the same size, I'm just gonna drag them out like this. So now my next color is gonna go right on top and I am gonna drag it out so it's all the way to the ends. And now what I can do here is drag it down or drag it up. All right, so let's say I want it to go, tell you what, let's go from a darker color to a lighter color. So the bottom of my circle is going to be this dark color and I'm just gonna kind of go up as I go. So there we go. And then I'm gonna pick my next circle, put that one right on top. I'm going to drag it. I'm gonna drag it to the edges so that it sits right on top. And I'm gonna bring this one up. And I can kind of divide it however I like. So something like that. 
repeat the process. So I've got a couple more circles. Boom. I can bring this one up. And again, I can make it as much as I want. That looks pretty good there. And then one more, I'm gonna go with this light green color. Slide it down. And then I can bring it all the way up. Perfect. So now what I've got is essentially different layered circles, but it gives me a nice sunset design. Okay, so now that we have our circle, our sunset, we can go ahead and put more of a grunge effect to it. So if I want to, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna come up to elements. And now if you were to type in grunge texture effect, which I've already done, and we'll go to graphics, you'll see all of these kind of different patterns. These are kind of grunge textures that you can put on top. So if I was to take this one, for example, put it right on top, and I can drag it all the way over the entire circle. And don't worry about the kind of the stuff going out the outside. We're gonna cut all that off, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna lay some textures down on top. And we'll just sort of go from there. Something like that. I want a different one here. This one here. And so they're all a little bit different. I can put more of a kind of grunge look at the bottom if I want to. I can also change the colors. So let's say on this one, I want it to be more of a, maybe a gray look or a white look that'll show off kind of how it looks there. Or maybe I want to go with a blue or a teal and you can kind of see the way that the overlay would work or a dark gray or a black. So I can, I can kind of play with the amounts or the colors of the grunge look that I want. So, and again, adding as many layers as I want. I can come to the magic recommendations. And I know some of these are a little hard to see until you get them on. And this one's got a lot of detail. Oops. Cancel that. There we go. And let's say this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this one white. Teal on that, or dark blue, light blue. I can give it more texture. I can rotate it even more. If I drag it out, the texture is going to be a little farther away. Something like that. Maybe this one I'm going to go with more of a light color. White might look cool. So say I want to do something like that. Now I have a grunge appearance to my circle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this whole thing as one image. Again, transparent background. I'm going to download this. I come to my uploads. I'm going to upload this one. Cool. And now what I can do is just add a new page. So if I add a page, I can come down here and start over. So once this is uploaded, I'm going to bring it right here onto my page. And so that I can see really good to make sure I, I remove everything I want to, I am just going to change the background of this to something bright so that all of my colors really stand out. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is edit image and go ahead and go to background removal. Okay, 
So as you can see, it didn't quite remove everything and it removed some of the stuff in the circle, so it's not a perfect science, but that's okay because I have erase and restore um, circles that I can use. So I can erase and I can make this a nice big brush size too. And I can erase everything out here that's outside of the circle. So all of this grunge stuff that I don't want, I can go ahead and remove, okay? And so I might need to like look a little bit closer in, make sure I get right near my edges. And it's okay if I remove some of this, the circle because I can restore the circle as well. So don't worry if you make a mistake. Just get as close to your edges as you want. If you're going for a grunge look, the edges of the circle might not be perfectly smooth anyways. But again, it just depends what kind of look you want to go with. So. Perfect. Now, it's a little hard to tell because we did have some white splatter on here, but some of the white splatter actually cut out the background so that whatever background color shirt you have it on is going to show through. Now if you like that, that's great, cool, leave it alone. If you want to restore it, you just go ahead and hit restore and just kind of go over anywhere on the circle that you're not sure about and make sure that that's all restored. And again, if you want to smooth out some of the circle edges here that you maybe cut off a little bit of, you can. There you go. Smooth that out a little bit more. Maybe smooth that out a little bit more. Once you have your circle more or less the way that you want it, all you have to do, click anywhere outside of this box, and now you have, whoop, now you have created a grunge circle. So you can see this is one big grunge circle, and it came from that. So. I can move this around this one image and I can now design on top of it if I want to. So let's say I want to make my shirt color black. I'm going to design on black like I usually do. And here is my image. I can crop it down to make it easier to work with. All right. So there's my grunge sunset. I'm going to go ahead and make it really big so I can fill the whole page with it. I can position it wherever I want. And now let's say I want to go ahead and put an image on top of this. Silhouettes usually look pretty good. So oops, let me close that and come back up here to elements. I'm going to do a search here. And I did one earlier with a skateboarder, kind of looked cool. So I'm just going to put skateboarder right here, skateboarder. I'm going to take one of the silhouettes. I'm going to put it right there. And of course, I can change the color if I want to. So up here. If I wanted it to be kind of a white cutout, if I want it to be, let's say, a dark blue, something like that. I like the black. I think it looks good. So I'm going to stick with a black cutout and then I can go just like that. All right. And so there you have it. Um, you can create your own sunset, you can create your own grunge look, you can put a silhouette in front of it, and you can pretty simply make this design right here. Now, I can save this page, delete this page. If I want to come up here where it says download, now that I have two pages, I can select the pages. So if I just want to download page two, I can. If I want to download page one, I can. If I want to download all of them, I can. So let's say I just want page two. I'm going to title this Grunge Skateboarder. Oops. Oops. Let me come up here. Grunge Oops. Skateboarder. Perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Transparent Backgrounds, page two. Okay. So, Transparent Background, page two, PNG download and it is just going to download my skateboard guy so really easy way to create your own sunsets i know there's a lot of different sites out there that offer pre-made graphics and pre-made sunsets all sunsets is one of them and it's relatively cheap so if you like to just do it that way 
you can, but if you're trying to save a little bit of money and you don't want to have another subscription, this is an easy way to create your own sunsets. Um, Canva does come with its own set of grunge sunsets or retro sunsets, but if you want to be able to specifically choose the colors, this is an easy way to do it. So it's just another option that you have to help create your designs. All right, so there again, I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around for more videos coming up. Thank you. That's it for this video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos on print on demand in Canva, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.